let's bring up Marin Welseth. Nobody has worn more hats at Penn State than Marin <laughs> Welseth. I should have worn heels or something or a stool to, to be next to Marin. Marin, uh, it's Justin. Thanks so much for coming out today. Yeah. What does this day mean to you? It's really exciting. I think you look at a schedule for any team and there's obviously highlights of opponents and then there's also events and obviously alumni ev an, an alumni event is a big deal but Penn State really did put the pink zone and pink games on the map and many in my opinion many programs have tried to to elevate it and do something like Penn State does but not many teams have been able to meet that same expectation so to me this is like a no-brainer you show up you know for the team but also for the survivors the community and and what this means to the program. As a player or coach, when you were part of these games, are the juices just extra flowing <laughs> on a day like this? Absolutely. I mean, if there's a reason that an athlete gets to wear pink, absolutely, you know, and, and that's just part of it. But being able to know the stories and all the coaches that I've been a part of, the programs here have made it a big deal to introduce the players, the staff, to the bigger meaning, to the, to the survivors, to different events that part are happening this weekend. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a big deal, I think, all the way around. And you've left such an indelible mark in the community. I don't think people realize how lucky they are to have somebody like you as a color commentator <laughs> on BTN Plus games. You give so much credibility to the broadcast. You make the students better, whether it be the sideline reporter or the play-by-play -play announcer. How much fun are you having calling Big Ten games? Well, that's very nice of you to say. Thank you. Yes, I, I have taken a different role this year. Um, it's been awesome. It, it's been really fun to serve the women's basketball community, serve the state college community, serve this program in a different way. Um, because of McKenna Marisa, she's broken a ton of my teammates' records, <laughs> which I also think is kind of fun to be able to highlight and, you know, talk about my teammates a little bit. But it's about the program, and, and if I can support the program, elevate the program, provide an opportunity for families that aren't, you know, in state college to be able to watch their kids and hear their stories, that's what I'm about. Are there any similarities from preparing from a broadcaster's perspective versus an assistant coach's perspective, which you've been before? <laughs> or is it completely uh, apples and oranges? No, I think there's a lot of similarities. I think I probably over prepare as an analyst because That's I good. come from the the coach's perspective of watching film, devising game plans, coming up with goals, talking to coaches. Um, but at the end of the day, if they don't do what I say, it's okay. So it's a little bit different. <laughs> well, at least you have the day off today, so you can enjoy it with your, with your friends and former teammates. I am here 100% as a fan for, obviously, the program, but for the survivors today as well. Oh, we thank you so much for your efforts. And uh, you can hear more on ESPN Plus platforms, BTN Plus. She's everywhere. You're a budding star in the, in the business. Thank you, Justin.